How many people here have heard of us grandmothers? Thank you ever so much. We came together the first time in the history of the world, October 11th, out of a place called Phoenicia, New York, back in the hills at what they call the uh, retreat for His Holiness and the monks and the lamas. And uh, we've been circling the globe, meeting at each other's place every six months. I'm very honored to be here with you today. We're me meeting in Anchorage at my Grandma Rita Blumenstein's place uh, in next month with our ninth gathering. And uh, if any of you care to come up and join us, you're welcome to do so. I would like to take a few moments to let you to know that everyone in this room is a water baby. Every one of us is born in water in our beginning life. We don't talk to the water. We don't thank the water. We don't thank it when we take a drink. It's, not, it's just not quenching thirst. It's lubricating and blessing all through our system. There's more water base in this world than there's land base. We're all connected by water. Water will always call us. I have prophesied that this world is headed for a water war. And it's going to be a precious commodity if we don't start thanking the water for our life. So today, if you have not been talking to the water, Dr. Mercy Moto has proven that water can hear. He has that book out, by his book, he can tell you also, that long before that he has proven that water could hear, I already was a voice for the water, being a voice for the voiceless, touring the globe, telling people that water could hear. Spirit world came to me and said water could hear. So I've been listening to the water now for many, many years and talking to the water and thanking it every morning of my life. And so I pray that you will take time out, each and every one of you, to come up here to this water, apologize to it if you've never said thank you for your life, to touch it, put it up to your head, your heart, and thank it for your life. Can you do that? I hope so. Because it's a precious thing when you cook with it, thank it, when you wash your hands, when you wash your car, when you wash your clothes, you know, when you flush the toilet, thank the water, talk to the water. As I say, it's gonna come a time when it's gonna be a precious thing and already is happening in Japan. And I think the water is turning against us because we don't, we don't thank it for our life every day, which I've been doing for many, 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 many years, every morning. So we're going to have a drum, thank you drummers, for you to come up and touch this water and say thank it for your life. Can you do that? Kids and all. Kids and all. And it'll make a difference in your life. I swear to God. To thank the water when you're drinking it. Thank the water when you get up in the morning, when you shower. Thank the water for blessing you. It will make a difference in your body and in your life. I'd like to have my friend who is here from, from the Lakota Nation, Chief uh, Golden Eagle, who I've known for some time, that walks a good path on this planet, does a lot for his people and all people. And I'd like to have him to say some good words here. He too is here making good medicine for all of us. Uh, Kidama, could I, I have your attention, please? Could I have your attention, please? Could I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? What does it take to honor elders, 
especially grandmothers. When elders are speaking, you listen. Are you listening out there? Okay, we have to honor our elders. They set a place and examples for us. This grandmother here, she goes out amongst the world, amongst internationally, and sets examples and as a good representative of Mother Earth. Listen to her. She gave her life so that issues of the water, of the fire, of the air, and of Earth will be in full view of what man is doing to the planet. They're abusing the air as we speak. Radiation, chemtrails, ozone. They're standing up and they're talking about this. The grandmothers. Where are our men folk? Stand up. This is the time to do that. Our grandmother here, she's going She's an elder. She's setting examples. We got to work together. When she talks, listen. We're good, beautiful people. We're a dancing people. We're a singing people. We're a praying people. Live it. Our ancestors are watching us. Our ancestors are listening. She come to honor the water. The water is a beautiful experience of this Mother Earth. Without it, we can't live. You are water. You're 70% water. Honor yourself. You and water are the same. We're all related. And I thank my grandma here for being who she is for standing up with the rest of the grandmothers on this planet to let us know what we are doing to Mother Earth and we need to stop. We need to get involved because without good air, without good water, without good fire, without the Earth being in its complete uniqueness and perfection, we cannot be complete, unique, people. So with, with that, I want to say good afternoon. I, I, I don't mean to be this way, but when spirit talks, spirit talks. So we honor our elders. Grandma, thank you for everything you are from Mother Earth. And I'm happy to be here and stand with you at this time, this moment. This is my grandmother. I'm from South Dakota, but I know a grandmother when I see one. We talk you, I'll see. Wow. Thank you, Chief Golden Eagle. What a great message. What a great path he walks. He walks his talk. I appreciate that. Okay, let's have some drum music and uh, come on, people. Let's introduce yourselves to this. H2O.